are those voices? My entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease if the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness I'll search for one myself you said and in that search it seems you lost yourself I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. Merveille de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Now it's open. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Captain Hodgson has a very particular Roll taste it, when it comes... Hmm. I think ready. I've overpacked. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own.
Lower the motorboat. And be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar, as impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. A tent. So somebody was on this I island recently. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I feel... Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. 
So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. A carving tool. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, dammit! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Oh my, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. Bone fish hook. 
This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. The Polynesian version. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. The motorboat! It's gone! And I had my luggage in it! All my things, gone. And the tide was so weak, it couldn't have carried the boat away. What happened here? this place. I'd better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. This enormous stone slab looks like a mechanism to get up to the outcrop. Hmm, something missing here. A tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? The Everhart Expedition. They set up camp here. Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Fascinating. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Let me record it. So, you said you've been on this island before. Yes. Some years ago. I made a rookie mistake. I did it from my fishing route to go to what looked like a better spot, less than an hour, had gone. 
I went suddenly. My bar, my canoe overturned. And I got this lovely souvenir from that mistake. Heavens, what gave you that scar? It's not a what, but a who. I don't know. I didn't get a good look at it. Polynesian man covered in tattoos. I'm not I sure if he looks angry or scared. Anyway, I was lucky enough to reach that well, white beach. What well? The one where we landed on the island. A man came three days later and got me out of there. He brought me to the port of Papete without speaking a single word. So now you believe in magic, old pal? And I promised myself that I will go on with my life and forget about this damn island. Why did you agree to return to the island then? I need to know what happened to me to discover the truth. I don't know if you get me. Absolutely. They're composed of four pieces. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. I've never cared much for games of chance. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. Ooh, looks like someone didn't like you very much, Harry. I'm not sure what to expect on this island, but I hope I won't regret not having a gun. They were packing a lot of heat when they came to this island, but they took all the guns with them. Very neat. Quite a looker. A fashion model, maybe. <laughs> Looks like this fellow was a real heartbreaker. His real name was... Costas? this much about their appearance in a place like this. Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. Farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. Explosives. Looks dangerous. Did they use all the dynamite? What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Something's missing here. He seems confused, as if he was having a hard time writing this down. They used the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. I thought it was nothing at first. The river cuts through that canyon. It doesn't look safe to cross. Why is this hammock so far from the rest of the campsite? Look at this little fella. An amulet with a carved Marquesian cross. The symbol represents... Oh, 
I must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. Look at him. Giddy as a schoolboy. Icor? Interesting. Well, considering how poorly Harry draws, this isn't half bad. More drawings. That Frank seems to feel guilty for whatever happened. I feel really bad for him. It's been ripped out of something else. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information. Got it. The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. What kind of stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. It's impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? again. Skin alterations. Like... like the ones on my hands. Heavens! He's losing his mind. Cripes! This man was splashed with that black liquid. Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look all too familiar. Is this a picture of my hand? Erythrocytes. Hmm. 
Aren't those red blood cells? Ugh, I can't stand the smell of medical equipment. It reminds me of my illness. I'd better not touch it. And given what happened, they shouldn't have either. Is this stone structure a hatch of some sort? Well then, I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Is somebody whispering? Hello? Is anyone down here? How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. It depicts a ritual of some sort. What are they doing to their eyes? You were close to something here, Harry. Let me see if I can solve it. This looks like another job by Handyman Harry. Maybe he heard the whispers too. This eye... Is it calling to me? Hear whispering. I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it just in case. Oh, the whispering, it, it stopped. Was I imagining all that? Well, that would should save some time. I believe this symbol means humble gawker of glamorous indie games. Brilliant. put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. My dear old pal, I know you won't ever read this letter, but I'm accustomed to writing you and it comforts me in this strange place. This island is riddled with secrets. So many secrets. But I'm not only talking about mechanisms and contraptions, Laura. I dare say that something on the island clouds one's judgment. Otherwise, I don't have an explanation for Roy's actions. The man was arrogant, impulsive, and a little cocky, but he was no fool. We weren't friends by any means, but he didn't deserve what happened to him. Nobody deserves that. We may have made some progress in finding the cure for your illness, but at what price? I miss you so much, Nora. Harry. He may not say it explicitly, but Harry blames himself for Roy's death. I know him too well. And I miss you too, Harry. Jeepers! A stranded ship! Something's missing here. 
This explains why the campsite is nearly abandoned. Other planes of existence? That's bats. The Harry Everhard I know would never have given up on this. Something must have happened that kept him from solving it. Black ooze. In a telescope? Where did you get this strange device, Harry? I think I solved it. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. It fits. What? What on earth? What is happening? My god, what? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? Press these star shaped tiles. Right, looks like I solved it. Great Scott! Oh, no. the, the well is filling up that. That's black ooze! No, 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 no. It's happening. It's happening. I... I'm feeling... faint. What, what is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding.
Holy Moses, what... What is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... No, no, no! Breathe underwater. I have to get back. I, I have to find. What is that? What kind of creature is this? I need to get a closer look. been afraid of storms, but something or someone seems to be moving there on the waves. Or is it just my imagination? Oh my god. The ship's hull was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. that attacked them. Ugh, this place gives me the creeps. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. was wailing not far from here. Even the crew of the ship that brought Harry's expedition to this island were afraid of it. Hmm. 
This is the captain's last entry. Frank is certainly a resourceful man. What were you looking for in the heart of the island? Apparently, Harry's expedition waited for a long time to be rescued. Did they give up hope? Maybe the legend is more real than it seems. I'd better write down those numbers in my journal. The Black Ooze's properties are perplexing. And I was completely covered in that black goo. I wonder what it'll do to me. Only God knows how long I've been covered in this black liquid. I wonder what it's going to do to me. Although I doubt anything could be worse than my illness. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my turn. So this is the reason the ship was scavenged. What kind of machine were you building? Blowtorch. Looks like it's been used a lot. Harry isn't usually very chummy, but he really seems to like Frank. I've been interested in knowing how things work since I was a child, but I always thought technology wasn't for me. What nonsense. This ornate structure certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, 
This feels ominous. Must be instructions to operate this bizarre structure. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. is rather limited here. Hey, this sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. with the letters EDW embroidered on it. It's stained with blood and black ooze. A white fedora. It's really dirty. Oh dear. This dock was a certifiable loon. The doctor was certainly well supplied with kinds of substances. These medical tools are hair-raising. I'm glad you stayed by his side, whoever you are. Looks like Frank wanted to leave, but I don't know if Harry ever read this letter. These two fellas seem to get along pretty well. It's curious, but... It's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. did have a good ear, Harry. How can someone build something like this out of stone? Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation at night. So Harry probably took this calendar from the Lady Shannon. 
and rocks stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. I've never seen Harry so angry. Wow, look at the size of these stones. Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys. You didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. I think this is the right one. Well, that cartoon was unexpected and inexplicable. What kind of doodad is this? Well tuned. I expected no less from you, old pal. I don't know if someone in the expedition was a cook, but I really hope they didn't rely on Harry for it. <laughs> when he lived in the dormitory, he only ate out of tomato soup and corn cans. I've never seen anybody with such poor nourishment. The expedition only has five members now. Did he take some amulets from the other campsite? Or did he call... Someone took notes about some important dates. Never heard of this Eric Zahn fella. A pulp magazine. I love Chandra Hogarth stories. Multiple typewriter. Someone here had a green thumb. Photographic film. Music box. Attack? What attack? What happened on this ship? Goodness me, what a collection of happy news. Oh my! I believe Harry visited this exposition when he was looking for answers for my illness.
So, uh, is, is this recording? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, shouldn't we be listening to something, Frank? I have assembled and disassembled it. Twice. So it should be fixed, Mr. Everhart. I don't know. Maybe it was never meant to play. Good Where have you been this whole time? See you hard with us. See you hard with us. Oh, my God. He's got a knife. Get off me, you lunatic! Hold up. Hold up for Christ's sake. Call the Aurora, quick. My God. Look at his contorted face. Is this what's going to happen to me? Those footprints definitely do not look human. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating rocks? and there are strange marks on the wooden pole. My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and 
unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always, Harry. Poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. That was quite a hike. I've been seeing these horseshoe-shaped pillars all the way up. Do they mark a path? I'm at the top of the mountain. I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. Ah. Oh. Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. These drops of rain are so refreshing. It feels really good. Are these figures singing like a choir? Are these figures... Singing like a choir? Heavens, looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents. All the Poton picture. Maybe the Polynesian guy didn't like people taking pictures of his scar. The only tent that came out of the rock slide in one piece is the one filled with amulets. Sure, if Harry ever got to read this note. They didn't accept Frank in the university. They should be ashamed. Oh, oh, dear. 
Oh, I'm sorry, but art has never been your thing, old pal. There are some homemade loudspeakers, probably to amplify the sound. Wow, this door looks thicker than any I've ever seen. There's a symbol inside. So I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. All right. Can you turn it on, Cass? Please, sir. We should not do this. Not now. Haven't we had enough warnings, Mr. Everhart? What else do we need? Another death? Listen to me. Frank lost his life setting this whole thing up. So we're not going to discuss it anymore. We're going to activate it, period. That's clear enough for you. Hey, you. Hey, Ma! Fine, same to you. Please, cast, activate. <laughs> One, two, testing. Nope, doesn't work. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. No power. I like singing so much. Harry and I often sang together. When my condition got worse, Harry thought it wasn't a good idea to make unnecessary efforts. And we stopped singing. I know it was just for my own good, but my illness caused our whole lives to revolve around it. Just vibrant. Amazing. The hatches are opening. Oh no. Frank died. I'm so sorry. He was such a talented man. And he seemed to be a good friend of Harry's. Oh, Frank had a daughter named Evangeline. What a darling. Now the wheel is moving. These 
levers connect those gears to direct the wheel's energy into the turbine. easy. These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. That should give the turbine some energy. Great, I did it. Now everything should be powered. Blood-soaked rags. A Bible. It must have belonged to Frank. He thought it was a flesh wound, but it kept getting worse. Sorry about Frank. Harry doesn't have many friends. When you finally do get to know him, he's so witty, so funny. A loving person. But it takes a lot for him to open up. Looks like a sneaky snapshot. She doesn't look at all happy. They built all this just with pieces from the beached ship. Frank sure must be a real whiz. Is convinced the answer to my illness lies inside that temple. Nakal? So this is like Atlantis, but in the Pacific Ocean, right? They built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ. Very clever, old pal. His low spirits are obvious in this photo. What was wrong with Frank? He looks so thin. Did I do something wrong? Come on, work! Come on! Yes. Ah! Now what? What's happening this time? An ocean that dried up. Oh. My cane. No, I 
would rather die than use that damned thing again. Another memory of my illness. How many times did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. The horseshoe-shaped pillar and that diamond shape again. I can't take much more of this. I feel woozy. Is that... a house? That's not a house. That's our house in Inglewood. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? That's our mailbox, too. Uh, Harry? Uh, are you home? A picnic with Harry's brother and sisters. I started wearing gloves shortly after that day. I miss you so much, old pal. I am definitely losing my mind. I don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you... The Everhart Twosome. <laughs> what a duo. <laughs> Checkmate in three moves. Harry gave me this necklace after one of his scavenger hunts. It's a photo of my mother and me. She had just gotten worse from her illness. The happiest day of my life. My mother's music box. Yet again. Cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. What a sweet melody. Vivid dream? And my music box again, but it wasn't broken anymore. And what a catchy tune. I'm not going back up there. The fuse box is already providing electricity to this entire setup. since I got sick, but let's give it a shot.
was quite a show. Now that it's filled with water, it looks like a baptismal pool. This feels like hallowed ground. Are they bathing him in black ooze? A hole in the wall, probably caused by the rock slide. That must be the spot where they entered the temple. His hands are changing, like in my dream. Look at those spots. They look like mine. Now he's some sort of man fish? Fish of every size and shape. These patterns look too familiar. This looks like the same kind of elevator that was in the campsite. She sounds worried for him, I think. Where is this taking me? Like I'm inside the giant fish head that I saw from below. A complex pattern. Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not deciphering this? Or because of what he discovered when he did? A broken liquor bottle. Is this Harry's? Uh, he hates booze. Harry marked this symbol for a reason. I'd better write it down. I've seen this symbol in the murals several times. I guess it can be applied to both water and black ooze. John McCormack's Dear Old Pal of Mine? Our favorite song. Well done, Harry. Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things out. This one was really hard to figure out. Good job, Harry. I'm starting to understand this language. So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. God's blood. Does... does this mean that... Is this related to me somehow, to... to my disease? My dear old pal... Nora. I wish I could write something else. But a long time ago, I promised you I would never lie to you. So here goes. There is no cure for your illness. What you carry in your blood is changing you, and it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life, I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, DeWitt, Roy. All for nothing. Maybe Te Haro is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papiete. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? But... but he didn't finish the letter. What did you do, Harry? Where are you? I know for sure that you didn't go back home, so what... What do I do now?
Oh, you saw this one was easy, I think. Someone punched the wall so hard that they bled. Was it you, Harry? It's amazing how words and symbols can keep their meaning after thousands of years. It appears Harry didn't advance any further. What is that thing? Is that the outline of a hand? Those are drums of some sort. for him, so it shouldn't work for me either. Unless there's something different about my hand. Anyway, Nora, you know what you've got to do. <gasps> my hands! Look at my hands! This is definitely not a dream. And I'm starting to doubt the others were dreams too. I saw in the temple. I'm back to being me. It's hard for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? Oh, 
the panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? by underground currents. That architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Someone vandalized this mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. Some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I better draw them just in case. These marks. They look quite old. Looks like some sort of food. It's not human food, though, and it's fossilized, too. We are, we slaves, masters of our country. Heavens, slaves and masters and. Nicole. Wasn't Nicole in the notes? Primitive hand paintings. I wonder who used to live here. It seems it was abandoned ages ago. We father, we mother. I... I understood that. How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Black blood in eyes, like in the well. This reminds me of some prehistoric cave paintings, like in the Cueva de las Manos and 
South America. Quite disturbing to see someone's hand paintings from thousands of years ago. I feel connected to them somehow. Is that black blood the same thing as the black ooze? primitive bowls and plates. What are the inhabitants of this village lived at different altitudes? Some even lived inside the water. They used this sort of dam to lower or raise the water level. It seems that each family had to agree somehow to change the water level. I'm amazed at how organized they seem to be, despite them being so primitive. Being trapped here probably made them stronger as a community. This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. These creatures are... immortal? The sunken continent. Was that their punishment?
Different types of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free. They rebelled against their masters. The slaves seemed to worship two gods. an altar dedicated to two figures. I can hear them talking to me. Isn't this the tiara from... Uh, wait, I... I can't remember the name of my hometown. is broken. I'll have to find another way to go through. Underwater Town is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful, but dangerous. The danger does not seem to affect me, though. from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness. Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. These creatures lived like slaves. All their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. 
Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? Now I can enter this tunnel. Take me. a ride, but it's over now. That ladder. Someone set up camp in here. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? This, 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 oh my god, did I almost forget about Harry? My dear old pal, it's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, 
violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become like me? Please don't be a fool. You don't even know if that ritual of yours is going to work. Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. Sanctuary? Harry, was that where you went? Oh dear, poor people. Is this why I'm changing too? So the guide left the expedition. That would explain the workshop on the White Sand Beach, where I arrived. She doesn't seem to care much about Harry. And she doesn't seem to be thinking straight either. <gasps> Harry, that look on your face. <gasps> you look deranged. They seem to loathe each other. The sun is setting. It is so beautiful. This panel looks different from the others. It's much more elaborate. This must be my transportation to the sanctuary. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here, as menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures. They're just defending themselves, like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition, like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat. And I definitely wasn't unknown, was I? They seem to recognize me, as if I was one of their own.
Everything seems so distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. A full moon? It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or... Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Inglewood and... Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. The feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood. Boston, or Newburyport. I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? Sanctuary. So is this where you went, Harry? Was this your last stop? So I... I have to put my hand inside? Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out, and its shape is... <gasps> Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. My, she sounds completely out of her mind. A camera. It must be Cassandra's. Let's give it a try. Ouch! Oh! Ah. What was that? Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger... Oh my goodness, and the gun barrel is empty. Trail of blood. Someone was hurt. There's a bullet hole in here. woman's earring stained with blood. My god, Harry, what did you do to her? If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? Another camp. 
although it's little more than a few things scattered about. Harry, what is this? It looks like the ramblings of a madman. A library? What are you talking about, Harry? Is the blood of these creatures some sort of catalyst? Heavens, this dagger looks exactly like the one I have. My dear old pal, I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, but she's just mad, obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I, th I have to think it over. I can't. I... To tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow, damn it. Stop writing. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does, what it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? These patterns look too familiar. Black ooze on a Petri dish. Oh my god. This syringe has traces of black ooze. What the hell were you thinking? Oh, I really hope this works. with different symbols. Hmm, an eye and a star. <gasps> Look at the stars, maybe. It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it used for? A shining constellation. I better draw it. Where is this door leading me? They carried these people here to test them. Like a challenge of some sort. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. Hmm, I wonder what this means. All these papers are riddled with incoherent doodles. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch.
circular stones with strong icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have in my hand. to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Maybe it only hurts the first time. also hurts. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. This place is like a labyrinth. They were submerged in Black Icor. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I, I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Again? Seriously? Again. Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here.
Oh, come on. One more time. All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? I think I can feel the agony of the slaves, their suffering, and the effects of their transformation. It's horrifying. Black and white figures. Doggies, or dragons, whatever you are. That's the creature I saw in my dreams. He's holding on to a gigantic black stone monolith. He is Father Dagon.
Again? Seriously? Ow! That hurt! Again. Was that a vision to another world or a vision of the future? The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? Is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. There's something written on the floor. With blood. Fall. Griffin? Haven't I heard that word in, in my dreams? What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of black icon? I I feel like it is it's speaking to me. Oh, heavens! to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. Or a music box. Oh, no! 
<laughs> what did you do it? Oh my god, Harry, no! In the end, you performed the ritual. You, you poor fool. But why? I don't understand it. Why? You knew it. You knew it wasn't going to work. You knew the ritual wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious and would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for people like me, but you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise, and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Dignity, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. So many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship, a whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. 
I don't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is... I was... homesick. My poor health. The pain. The suffering. It was all because of how far I was... from here. He just appeared out of the blue. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. So pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the Icorn. Connected with the Elder God. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. You were right about one thing, Harry. I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. I know who I really am. And where I belong. I know fate has eternal life in store for me. But an eternal life without you is worthless. Meaningless. So, I choose the slow and painful death. I'm going back home.
You staged this ruse because you love me. But true love is reciprocal. So I'm also making this decision because I love you. Our love is greater than fate, lineage, or, or all the pain I can suffer. Whatever time we have left, we'll spend together. When the time comes, it will be your hand that holds mine. And those beautiful blue eyes will be the last thing I see before I leave. find your husband on that island, Mrs. Everhart? I did find my husband. He wasn't on the island, though. But what have you been doing these three days? What did you find there? I don't know. The truth about myself, I suppose. And at the same time, the reason to go back home. I don't think I follow you. Have you ever been in love, Captain Hodgson? In love? You mean like in a romance novel? No, that's fiction, Captain. In real life, True love stories don't end with a wedding. They end with a funeral. And the only thing that eases that final moment of heartbreaking sadness are all the good memories lived together. Honestly, I don't think I've ever felt anything like that, Mrs. Everhart. But if you love your husband that much, he's certainly a lucky man. We are both lucky. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life is empty since I went away. Skies don't seem to be so clear. May some angel sentry guard you while I stray And fate be kind to join us some sweet day Oh, how I miss you, dear old pal of mine Each night Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. In the end, it didn't matter. You returned home and forgave my deception. We moved close to the sea and had a few more good years, didn't we? Until you left me at one sunny March morning. I wish I could be reunited with you. But fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work, because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal.